Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Tristan Amelcaster, and today I'll be bringing you the Halloween special for 2017. Now, we've done a few of these in the past. We've done one, I believe, for 2012, 2013, and 2016. I could be wrong on one of those dates, but I believe those are the ones we've done. Um, but... I love doing these videos, guys. I really do, and I, I try to make it a, a tradition. I have missed a few years or a couple of years in between there, but I, I do want to try to bring at least one for every year, you know, that that they bring this. And usually they bring this every year, um, at least since the beginning of the game. I think they brought this every year. They bring the Halloween update. They bring the Christmas. They bring, I believe, an Easter one. And I just love when they bring these because it really does set the mood in Wizard City differently. I mean, you have you have these cool little quests, which are generally the same every year. I mean, from the, uh, ha I believe, Hollow Jack. Hollow Jack. We'll have to see. I, I think that's his name in the comments. And generally you have most of the same items from Spooky Bob here. But but I do like bringing these specials because they're just fun to bring and you only get to bring them really once a year. It's kind of like a tradition. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy. And uh, we're going to see what all is different, if there is anything different. I think there's a couple of things that might be different here. And sorry if this video is a little late. I'm not exactly sure when the Halloween update started. I haven't been on for about a month and a half or seen any updates. But... I wouldn't expect it to be to start to have started um, too long ago. So we're gonna take a look around. I hope you guys do enjoy, and let's start off with Spooky Bob here. So we're gonna take a look at what he has, and um, he's got some cool pumpkin masks. Uh, I'm probably not gonna buy one, but I think they're pretty cool though. You got the Goof, the Cyclops pumpkin mask. Some of these might be new. I'm not exactly sure. I know the Ninja Pig mask is not new, and I know the Halloween. I think this is not new. I've I've seen this for sure. I do really like this, though. It's pretty cool looking. Um, let's take a look around. Okay, and uh, scary pumpkin mask. Happy. Let's go to robes. Ninja pig robe. I do like that. Definitely goes good with the uh, ninja pig hat and the Halloween. So this is kind of like a, a kit, kind of like a complete wardrobe right here. You can choose between these two and also the hats, of course, at the end. And let's see if we got the shoes. We do have the shoes for the Halloween and the ninja pig. Um, wands, mostly the same, but there might be some new inclusions, and of course you got the more powerful wands at the end. Uh, pets, we got the black cat, the nightmare, uh, these are all returned, I know I've seen all these, um, but I do really like the nightmare, I like the design of the nightmare for sure. The ghost dragon's pretty cool also. I remember when I used to really want one of these things, and I don't believe I have one still to, I might have one, I'm not exactly sure, but I've always been fond of these ghost dragons, I've always liked them. We look at the wall, there's only one wall hanging, and it's Spooky Bob himself. So that is Spooky Bob's shop. Now, I believe that there are some new items, if I'm not mistaken, in the crown shop. Okay, so we have a new pet. Where is that? Right here. This is a sp this is specifically, I believe, for Halloween. Um, maybe it's not only for Halloween. It might be just, you know, a new pet added in general. The Obsidian Mimic, which is pretty cool. I think this is a really cool pet. Uh, I, I actually don't believe this is... This might not just be like a only Halloween thing. I think it might just be a permanent thing added in, but it's a really cool looking pet. I'm not going to lie. I, I like the design of that for sure. Um, nothing too new. Here's a Herring Nightmare pack. I think that might be a Halloween pack, and I'm not. it might only be there for Halloween, but I'm not exactly sure about that either. So yeah, those are some of the new items added into the game. We're going to take a look around. Let me throw on my mount here. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I love bringing these videos for you guys. Um, it's a ton of fun. And every year I do them, I usually get really good feedback. So I like to try to bring them as much as I can. Uh, let's see if they, they've done anything here in the common, the I mean, the, the uh, shopping district. And they have added a few things, or Oldie Town, I mean. And they have added a few things in. Just these little uh, billboard or, you know, like cardboard cutouts here. Um, we got Dracula or, you know, a vampire right there. And I think these are also the same from the previous years. Maybe some of them are, are slightly different. I'm not exactly sure. If I go back, I'll probably notice they are the same. But um, there's a uh, pumpkin or crop watcher. There's a witch. And I think there's one more down here, if I'm not mistaken. And there is. It's a ghost. Now, I would, all you know, in, in all honesty, I think it would be cool if they added some 
some new features or some new things in because for the most part it is very similar if not the exact same every year and that's not a problem i mean it is just kind of it is awesome they throw it in there a lot of games won't do that a lot of games don't give themes or a lot of mmos don't give themes to their world and i like that wizard 101 does that i like that they they add these holidays in there so you kind of get a different presence and, and get that feeling of joy in wizard city but i would like to see some new things added in quests some new items some new decorations um things like that uh overall though i i really do like what they do you know with the the whole uh theme of it now let's go into the commons and we're going to take a look at hopefully i got his name right hello jack is it or jack hallow I, I got it i got it uh reversed so really the same decorations now, my favorite um, holiday they do in Wizard 101 is definitely Christmas. I love the Christmas tree and everything they do with that. So that's no doubt my favorite. Um, I think Easter is also really cool. I can't really choose between this and Easter, but I do like what they do here. They, like I said, there could be a few more decorations, but we got all the pumpkins sitting around. And we got a giant one by Headmaster Ambrose's house. Let's see if there's anything in his house. I'm not sure. Probably not. But... Yeah, there's nothing in his house. So let's go take a look at Jack Hallow's quest and see what we got. Yeah, these are these are the same exact quest guys as uh, the previous years. Orange is scared. He's sure proven a ghost trapper among the most skilled. So catch me some more. By now you should be thrilled. These ghosts are orange, unlike all the rest. Poor Jack can't rhyme. So it's to Cyclops Lane you must go. My wish of good luck will follow. So yeah, guys, exact same quest. Let's just see if we have any if more in Cyclops not Lane. Of apples, there's more to be had. Go to Ravenwood. You've shown this now. So get you to the commons and catch <laughs> them <laughs> ghosts fast. You know what? This time you'll find them in the district for shopping. So why stand? You know what? Is this time you'll okay, find we'll do this them one. in the district for if you're hungry after your quests. Have some apples in the grove of Ra each. Get them to Ravenwood and to okay, so we'll do these two. Three. Catch you later and good luck to thee. So yeah, guys, exact same quest. And like I said, it would be cool if they added in, uh, you know, some different quest lines at least. Um, maybe you know, if not quest lines, definitely some newer items, definitely some updated outfits and things. Maybe there are a few in there that I'm just not noticing. But it would be cool if they added in some of that. But uh. Let us take a look and find this barrel. There's the apple tub over here for the shopping district. Oh, okay. So you get a row with that. Not anything special, but definitely for, you know, lower levels. It's not bad. If you're like a level 20 or something in your storm and you get that, it's not a bad robe. Let's take a look at that again. You get 96 health. Not sure how great that is, but uh, I mean, hey, you get free you get free stuff. These quests are really easy. They're kind of just meant to go around and, and just take a look at, you know, the different things they added, the different decorations they put into the world. Some of these quests also you need to have a membership. Like if you don't have a membership, you can't go do the ones in Cyclops Lane and things. I think last time I was play well, last Halloween special I did, I didn't have a membership, so I couldn't do the ones in Cyclops Lane. It's, maybe I'm wrong about that, but. I don't believe I could do the these quests because I didn't have an active membership. But let us turn on our... Let's go in Cyclops Lane and find these ghosts. Here we are. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. It's just fun to go around and, and just... It is a tradition kind of on this channel. I mean, I've already brought three of these. I brought some Christmas specials. I think I brought some Easter. Maybe I haven't brought any Easter specials, but overall, it's kind of just a fun thing to do. And right now, we're just going around and collecting all these ghosts. And we have gathered all of the ghosts. Let's go back to Jack Hallow. Teleport there. Here he is. More ghosts you've caught me without much complaint. It's grand what you're doing. I see you've come back quick like a spider and with apples enough to press up some cider. So I'm not sure if we're going to do all these quests, but we're going to do a few more. Let's do the Baron of Nightmares. The stands the tower, its floors once wide and clear. 
To the place has come a nightmare. A dreadful lord lurks above. Into his lair must he... So go now, brave spell slinger, to Triton Avenue so near. Defeat that fear bringer. Take his bauble. Come back here. Welcome, student wizard. All find jack-o'-lanterns. All cards. Okay, so we're going to do Baron of Nightmares. Wizard. Now, um, this is actually a cool, pretty cool quest to do for the, uh, a pretty cool quest to do for this video because it's defeating this boss that gets added in during Halloween. So I think that's pretty cool. We'll go do that, and uh, just let me know what you guys think of the the video down below. Um, let's let's see. Do we have our quest finder is on. We should be able to find. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm just. I was just putting it on so we can do easier travel. So I mean the. Uh, I was talking about the quest finder, but uh, I mean the quest helper wasn't on. So here we go, guys. We're gonna go defeat Baron Mordecai and collect his amulet of night. Oh crap! Wow, oh, dang it! <laughs> we got in this. Let's just defeat this thing while we're at it. Won't take one hit and it's done. Oh, actually, there's another Jack, um, like a, another NPC right here. Oh, it's just finding the uh, Jack Lanterns around. Tis more the same. I'm sure you know. Yeah, it's just finding a bunch of uh, jack-o'-lanterns around, so not much different from doing the others. Hmm, let's put on another mount here. No, this would be such a waste of time. Look how slow that is, guys. Oh my gosh. We're going to go Tiki Wave Rider here. I love this mount. This mount is so cool. I mean, it's definitely one of the better designed mounts in this game. I just love how you stand on it, and also when you jump, it looks sick. I mean, it looks like you're just doing a freaking flip kick like <laughs> and we're not too far now guys I think this is his tower down here yep so we are going to do this guys and I think that might be the end of the video we might do one more quest after this but then I think we're gonna sum it up basically because we've done three of these halloween specials in the past and they're really all the same i just like bringing them because even though every year it's about the same you know there's still different order of activities we do and things like that so here is baron mordecai a rank four boss not going to be hard because of course you know novices are given these quests so it's not going to be too difficult well he has 2000 health he's actually not as hard he's actually a little harder than you'd expect especially for a lower level not for like me or anything but um we're gonna force lord and just dominate this battle right here Okay, and we are going to place a life trap on Baron Mordecai. Fail. <laughs> Do we need to put anything else on? Well... We're just going to use Spirit Blade just to deal some extra damage there. I think we'd, we'd kill him definitely without these on, but now he's definitely dead. Definitely a, a dungeon you may want to go in with friends uh, if you're like a lower level, because 2,000 health, if you're like in the, the low levels like of 10 to 15, might be a little bit harder for you. Not, it definitely might be a little bit harder for you. But um, especially since he has a minion beside him too, but for higher levels, like once you get like past.
past 25 and stuff at 30. It, it definitely isn't hard. Okay, and we are good now, guys. We're going to hit with Forest Lord and just pwn this noob. It's your time to die. Boo. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. This guy is toast. Yep, that was overkill for sure, but... <laughs> And we do that guy got wrecked too, pretty hard. So you have beaten me, living one. Jack, take from me this amulet of night, your rightful spoil of battle. So let's go talk to Jack Hallow. Thank ye muchly, wizard generous and true. The amulet of night, ye've got. Jack, thanks ye. So, I think that's going to be the video, actually, guys. I mean, there's not really much different, you know, thing, mu much more different things to do in this video. Um, most of it's just repeat, and, and the other quest is to, you know, just run around and collect these, um, what are they called, pumpkins around the city. Not too much different, and we've definitely done it in the past. But let me put on this plain pumpkin mask and show you guys really fast to end this video off with a nice little headless... I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm about to say, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and it was a lot of fun, guys. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know what you would think if I made another channel and dedicated, you know, started bringing only primarily Wizard 101 content, because I, you know, Twisted Animal Caster, this channel has mainly become, like, uh, a, a wide variety of content, not just Wizard 101, but a lot of different other things, and, and a lot of that content, you know, doesn't get well received, because a lot of people just want Wizard 101, so that's why I think that, you know, um, another channel might be, might be good, another channel might just focus on Wizard 101, might be needed, I, a lot of people might want that, so, you know, it could be like Tristan Amblecaster, to, uh, there's already a Tristan Animal Caster too, so I could just maybe use that channel. I don't know. But I'll definitely look into that, guys. Um, just let me know down below in the comments. And I hope you did enjoy this video. And I hope you have a great Halloween. See you guys.